Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 975. Hey, if you want to download this workbook 971 and 975, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video here, we want to talk about seven ways to enter a formula into a cell. Now, here we have some uh, numbers, and I want to add them. So I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut for the sum function, Alt equals. Now, we have a formula. It's in edit mode. What do we mostly do? We hit Enter. Now, Enter will put the formula in the cell and move the selected cell down below. Alt equals, whoops, Alt equals. If, however, I was putting a formula into the cell and I immediately had some task to the right, I could hit Tab, right? Like putting another formula or doing whatever. If I had a formula, Alt equals, and my goal was to immediately do something, some task to the left, I could hit Shift Tab. Now notice Enter Tab, Shift Tab. Those are all ways of getting your formula into the cell and moving some direction. You don't want to use your arrow keys, because your arrow keys are programmed to hunt for cell references. Now, Alt equals, what if my next task was above? I could Shift Enter. Finally, Alt equals, what if my task was to put the formula in the cell but keep the cell selected, like I'm going to copy it or format it? Control Enter. All right, so that's five methods. Enter tab, Shift tab, Shift Enter, and Control Enter. Another situation you can get yourself into with formulas is here we have a budget. We have some monthly revenue and some expenses, and here's our percentages. We want to create one formula and then copy it down and over. But if you're thinking in advance, just highlight the entire range in advance. Then Control Enter does something uh, slightly different than we saw over here when only a single cell is selected. The active cell, let's say, whoops, uh, the active cell, I'm going to type an equal sign, and I'm going to get that revenue, and I'm going to lock using the F4 key. I'm going to hit the F4 once and twice. I'm going to lock the row reference, but not the column, times, and I'm going to get my percentage or decimal. Now here, I want to lock the column reference, but not the row, so I'm going to hit the F4 key. Now, oh, wait a second, the F4 key just keeps going and going. It's like a merry-go-round, but I want to stop when the dollar sign's in front of the column reference H, but not the 7. Now, watch this. That formula is ready to go if I hold Control and tap Enter. So Control Enter, it populates all the cells with our formula. If I go to the last one and hit F2, boom, it got it right. So Control Enter does uh, something great when you're entering a formula, the same formula, into a rectangular range. Finally, there are array formulas which take a special keystroke. Now here I want to figure out the max value for Joe, Phil, and Sue, but there's no max if. So equals max if function. That name error means that the max if is not a legitimate function. No problem. We're going to take the max function and we're going to put the if function inside of it. Now, right now, the max, if I were to highlight all of it, it would give me 22. But that's not what I need. For Joe, I need just the 15 and the 4. So the if function inside of the max will help us to get the correct values for just Joe, just Phil, just Sue. Now, logical test. Well, what do we want? We're interested in Joe. So I'm going to highlight the names, hit the F4 key. Now, notice. That's a, a range of values. This is an array formula. The term array just means one or more items. One potential uh, array in Excel is a range of values. But watch this. We're going to say, is anything in there equal to? And click on this Joe. Now, this is an operation. This is a, an equating operation. We're saying, is anything in this array of values equal to Joe? Anytime you do an operation on an array, meaning one or more items, you're making an array formula. So if I highlight this and hit the F9 key, sure enough, you can see it delivers an array of trues and falses. Just when we see true, those correspond to exactly the values for Joe. Now I'm going to Control Z. I hit F9 to evaluate, Control Z to undo. That logical test argument right there is not programmed to make an array calculation like this. That's the reason we have to use a special keystroke, Control Shift Enter, to make this array calculation. If we don't, it doesn't work. Now, 
trues and false was in the logical test. Now I comma, and what am I after? These values. That's the value if false. F4. Value if, sorry, for the value if true, we want all these. Ooh, I got it wrong. Value if true, bloop, all those values, F4. All right, comma, and the value of false, we don't need it, so I'm going to backspace and close parentheses. We do not need to put anything for value of false. In fact, if you leave it empty in any if formula, it'll put a false in, which actually will help us. Let's check this out, highlight the entire if function. Now, the if function is doing an array calculation here because it's producing an array of values. If I hit F9, sure enough, it's delivering the 15 and the 4. Those falses are put in because we didn't put anything in the false argument. Boom, we get just our values for Joe. The falses will be ignored by Max. Now I'm going to Control Z. Close parentheses. Now here it is, array formula. We, we need to tell Excel that this is an array formula. And the way we do that is by holding Control Shift and Enter. The way Excel tells us that it knows that it calculated an array formula is those curly brackets. Now that Excel put those in to let you know, hey, I understood this is an array formula. It's been entered with that special keystroke. Those curly brackets cannot be typed in. Now I can double click and send this down. And you can see we get our max value for uh, each person. Now, if you put one of these cells back in edit mode and don't use Control Shift Enter, it'll do one of two things. If I hit Enter here, 22, that's not Joe's biggest value. That's called an implicit intersection mistake. It's actually looking through and just finding the biggest value. Because we didn't do Control Shift Enter, the formula didn't know to make that array calculation. Now I'm going to highlight this in edit mode and copy it. I'm going to use Control Shift Enter to tell Excel now that now, now we told it array calculation, it calculated the correct answer. Now, just a moment ago, we hit Enter, and it gave us the wrong answer. But that was because it was next to the data set. If your formula is down here, and you don't hit use Control Shift Enter, it'll give you a value error, right? No curly brackets. So if I come back up here and put it in Edit Mode, Control Shift Enter, there's the value for Joe. Wow, that's a lot of ways. We saw five different ways to uh, enter a formula in a single cell, one way for a rectangular range that are all getting the uh, same formula, and then uh, a special keystroke for control for array formulas, control shift enter. All right, we'll see you next video.